We have uh, one resolution this morning in the morning hour, Senate Resolution 25 by Senator Tucker. Senate Resolution 25 by Senator Tucker to recognize the many accomplishments of Ro Roger Bumpus. Senator Tucker, you're recognized to present your resolution. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I I'd like to ask for leave for Roger and Angela Bumpus to come on the floor. Leave. Leave. I'll be brief. I just wanted to... I my thought on this was we have a very talent-rich state in Arkansas, and a lot of times we don't even know about it. We have a native Arkansan right here, Mr. Roger Bumpus, and his voice, I guarantee you, has been in every one of your houses and every household in the United States and probably just about every household around the world because he's one of the main characters on SpongeBob SquarePants. He voices one of the main characters on SpongeBob SquarePants. And it's just a remarkable thing. We're lucky to have Mr. Bumpus and Angela here with us today, but I also just want to recognize, you know, there's just a lot of treasures in the state that we're not even um, aware of. Whereas Arkansas native Roger Bumpus has had many achievements over the course of his career in the entertainment industry, and whereas Roger Bumpus was born in Little Rock, Arkansas and attended Little Rock Central High School, finest high school in the United States, where he received his first training in theater, and whereas after high school, Roger Bumpus attended Arkansas State University, where he majored in radio, TV, and minored in theater, and whereas after completing his education, Roger Bumpus has gone on to have a successful career in the entertainment industry, whereas according to the Internet Movie Database, Mr. Bumpus has over 693 film credits, which includes projects for companies such as National Lampoon, Nickelodeon, and others, and whereas Roger Bumpus has provided the voice for Squidward Tentacles on the Nickelodeon series SpongeBob SquarePants since 1999, and in 2012 received a Daytime Emmy Award nomination for his role as Squidward. Be resolved by the Senate of the 93rd General Assembly of the State of Arkansas that the Senate congratulate Roger Bumpus on his many achievements. With that, I, I'd like to invite Mr. Bumpus to come to the well and, and uh, indulge us for just a minute. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I am no stranger to public speaking, but this is not in my ballywick. I, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to address you. You know, when I knew that this little moment was going to happen, I found myself at a loss for words. And so I consulted a dear old friend of mine, wise in these matters. And he told me, Roger, just say, finally, <laughs> after 22 years of suffering behind a cash register at the Krusty Krab, dealing with idiots every day, underpaid, underappreciated, underwater, Finally, recognition. <laughs> and I find it interesting that the one group that most appreciates and respects Squidward's artistic prowess turned out to be the Arkansas State Legislature. <laughs> Squidward would say, this is a mark of intelligence on all of you. <laughs> but when I left Arkansas for the canyons of New York some many, many years ago, I think it was just after the Civil War, I, uh, I kept in myself the identity of a, an Arkansas boy. Even though wherever I went, wherever I traveled, and I would say almost for Arkansas, you have some clown that would pipe up saying, oh, you mean Arkansas? Which is not fair, because if you're from Kansas, people don't say, oh, Kansas. <laughs> but I went to New York with aspirations, large aspirations. And my main aspiration was to be the first Arkansan to obtain an Academy Award. Well, the lovely and talented Miss Mary Steenburgen beat me to that one. So I had to recalibrate. And all of a sudden, I find myself surrounded by the epiphany of standing here at this podium addressing members of the legislature and being honored for basically leaving Arkansas <laughs> is far greater than any Academy Award I could ever achieve. And that's no exaggeration. Why? Because it's from my own, my fellow Arkansans. Folks, my, my heart soars 
and my cup of gratitude overflows, sloshes down Markham Street, past the steps of the old state house, where, just two years ago, my bride and I were married at another Arkansas institution. And so I can say to you today, at this moment in time, in this chamber, I have never been more of an Arkansas boy ever. I thank you, and I thank you. Whoa, Pat Zoe. <laughs> With that, I yield the floor. <laughs> All in favor of the resolution, say aye. aye. Any opposed? Resolution is adopted. <laughs>